you know that we have some models when we are writing different sections and subsections of our research whether it is a proposal or thesis or dissertation or a research paper we have to stick to that model or those models so that we can write it easily okay here we have another model in addition to cars model which will be helpful when you are writing your introduction we have a wine glass model or hourglass model uh, which can be helpful when we are writing IMROD introduction method results discussion as a whole okay let's look at the figure first then go on the discussion here is the introduction section look at the top this top topper section I mean the toppermost section is uh, actually wider and here we have a uh, actually narrower part here we have uh, a figure like a funnel okay and here we have an inverted funnel okay uh, the top is uh, narrower or actually smaller and the bottom is wider this means that we have uh, a funnel here let's look at this shape it is like a funnel and here we have an inverted funnel but the methodology section and results section uh, have the same actually widths at the top and bottom uh, and this is telling us very important point here okay let's look at that important point this is the introduction section okay and I'm gonna tell you some points here uh, using some examples as you see here the top is wider and the bottom part I mean the bottom line is um, shorter or narrower and we have some sentences okay and in each sentence we uh, I mean uh, each sentence is gonna uh, epitomize I mean is gonna represent one paragraph or some paragraphs we have one sentence which stands for one paragraph or more than one paragraph okay uh, let's look at the sentences one by one and mm, tell the story in detail here it is said that heart is one of the most vital body organs uh, this first sentence maybe it is the first sentence or first paragraph of your introduction as you see here we tell heart okay a, an organ in your body not a not a very specific part uh, although this is uh, specific enough uh, by its own I mean on its own but uh, we can have more specific than heart for example heart attack okay for example heart diseases uh, so if we are talking about heart we can talk about the health of heart the diseases of heart I mean the uh, parts I mean sub parts or uh, sections of heart for example artery for example uh, we can talk about uh, the function of heart okay we can talk about heart uh, from different perspectives uh, I mean look at it from different angles but this is not uh, I mean it is not specified here we are talking about heart in general here in general this means that we are talking about a whole picture here at the top we are talking about or looking at the whole picture so we start our introduction with a general look at the topic okay with a look at the whole picture in the second sentence I or better say in the second paragraph we are talking about uh, heart diseases this means that we are talking about only one aspect of this organ not about its health not about its uh, functions but only and only about its diseases okay
if you look at the third sentence or better say the third paragraph because I said that uh, every sentence is gonna show or represent one paragraph or some paragraphs here the researcher is talking about heart attack it says that or he says that heart attack is among the most prevalent diseases which might make patients suffer from its side effects here we are talking about a narrower actually aspect at the top we talked about heart in general here we selected only one aspect of heart I mean heart diseases and here among different diseases we only selected heart attack okay among for example 10 different types of diseases for example cancer for example uh, the blockage of arteries for example okay the dysfunction of uh, heart different types of diseases but we only selected one of them heart attack okay um, different problems with regard to heart but we only selected one of them a heart attack is among the most prevalent diseases which might make patients suffer from its side effects and if you look at the sentences at the top we are talking about centrality heart is one of the most vital body organs do you remember cars model uh, in that model we talked about centrality claiming centrality look back at that videos that lectures uh, you will understand what I mean here in the third sentence we are talking about narrower aspect of heart here we are talking about narrower aspect of heart uh, from top to down we are narrowing the topic okay and at the last sentence or at the last paragraph or at the last few paragraphs we just talk about the specific topic or subtopic or what we are gonna deal with in this pa paper in this research okay at the top we were paving the way for the researcher we are we were setting the scene for the researcher we were providing actually the background to tell our own story here is our own story okay uh, in the first few paragraphs okay here we were talking about uh, the heart I mean heart from different perspectives uh, but these were functioning as a actually as a background to make me as a researcher able to talk about my own paper my own actually research this last paragraph or these last paragraphs are just my own issue my own topic here we say that elderly patients suffer most not just because of uh, the heart attack alone but because their heart attack along with their other illnesses might even lead to their death this means that elderly patients not all patients not patients from different ages only elderly patients and those elderly patients who suffer from other illness as well okay not just heart attack but heart attack plus some other illnesses okay if they have for example two illnesses two types of actually problems one with regard to their heart and the other for, for example with regard to their lung okay for example lung cancer if they have the two or more than two problems then what will happen to them in this research I'm gonna talk about this not just heart attack okay here we were paving the way for our, for ourselves for, um, for I, I were actually I was paving the way for myself uh, the author the researcher is setting the scene 
okay the first few paragraphs is an introduction to my own research if you are clever enough okay if you are a reader and clever enough I mean a pro proficient enough you can just look at this last paragraph or this last section of in the introduction and guess what will the, t the title of this research be okay what will the title of this research be uh, if you look carefully at this last paragraph and you can understand uh, you should understand better say you should understand uh, the gist of the research the main point of this research so if you understand the main point of this research you can write a title for this research okay you can put a title at the top we don't have a title here we have only the introduction we don't have title at the top of our research here but if you look carefully at this last paragraph because it, it is just it is actually uh, directly talking about this paper not other papers okay so if you look carefully here then you will understand the title let's look at another example at the top you have a uh, general ideas okay general ideas and at the bottom you have your own topic your own research uh, here we have uh, some sentences actually showing us or standing for some paragraphs Heart surgery is one of the most vital medical operations in human health history. This is claiming centrality. This is showing that this research is important because this is the most one of the most vital medical operations. This is important. So I have to do a research with regard to this issue, heart surgery. In the second paragraph or in the uh, actually uh, following paragraphs, uh, the researcher told us although a great number of researchers and heart specialists have carried out a considerable amount of research on heart operations or heart surgery open heart surgery has not attracted due attention here we were talking about heart surgery in general but we we talk we talk about open heart surgery only okay open heart surgery for example not surgery using a laser just open heart surgery okay so we are just talking about one aspect of heart surgery here we are talking about the, the whole picture but here we are looking at one aspect or from one angle uh, to this issue okay and at the last sentence uh, or better say at the last paragraph uh, we are telling the story here like here open heart surgery in children which is the the focus of this research is of a pivotal importance because of the higher mortality rate of children under operation this is gonna differentiate this type of surgery from others okay it says that we actually limited this research to only children not elderly people okay we are talking about uh, heart surgery okay only open heart surgery and only in children this is specific enough then if you look at this part you have to guess the title of the research the title of the research you have to guess the keywords okay you have to guess the keywords and as you see from top to the bottom uh, the idea is actually being narrowed down here we have a general idea less general than the upper sentence and here we have the most specific sentences okay the, mo the least general ideas here and then uh, if you go to the second section I mean uh, the methodology section and the results section as well 
you have to have uh, actually um, the same size at the top and uh, bottom. This means that uh, you don't actually narrow down your sentences, your actually concepts. Uh, in the methodology section, you write or you report what happened. Okay. Uh, neither you have to generalize uh, the actually the ideas, the concepts here, nor to make them more specific. So uh, you have to report what happened exactly what happened here and in the results section the story is the same uh, but in the discussion section uh, the actually the reverse will happen uh, the opposite of what happened in it in the introduction section this means that in the results uh, sorry in the discussion section you have to start with uh, actually more specific sentences this means that you have to start this section uh, based on your own findings, okay, your own and specific findings, and then go on to generalize your findings to make it more applicable, applicable to a wider range of people, wider range of users, okay. For example, uh, you had a, f a sample of 50 people uh, in your study, based on the sample, 50, for example, here in your study. The findings show that uh, cigarette smoking directly accelerates lung cancer in women younger than 50. Okay, this is your research. Uh, this is right after your results section. Okay, you start with uh, what you actually found in your research. Then you go and sh actually compare and contrast your finding with those of others. In addition, based on the findings of Smith, for example, 2019, this means that I'm ma I'm making comparison between my research, this research, mine, and this is uh, the research of someone else. Uh, it can be argued that cigarette smoking directly accelerates lung cancer in mean younger than 50. This in the in the research is yours. This is dealing with women here. And another research from somebody else is uh, dealing with actually uh, mean, okay? Then you can uh, come to a conclusion that uh, mean and women younger than 50 because women is dealt with in your research and mean is dealt with or was dealt with in somebody else's research. So you can come to a conclusion and tell the readers that these findings can be generalized generalized to a larger population you just uh, selected a sample of 50 people and Smith for example selected a sample of 100 people but you want to generalize it that this means that this means that your finding is based on a specific sample but you want to make it applicable to a wider range of people okay then here you can come to a conclusion these findings can be generalized to a larger population and we can claim that cigarette smoking directly accelerates lung cancer both in mean and women younger than 50 okay this means that you are generalizing your findings this is making your findings applicable to a wider range of people to a larger group or groups of people and you can also uh, make your findings more generalizable than that and claim mm, much wider actually uses for your research, for your findings. And at the end of your discussion and conclusion, you can claim some, some sentences or some concepts like this. In some, it can be even claimed that cigarette smoking directly accelerates lung cancer, both in women and men, in any age, sorry, at any age. This means that not only younger than 50, but also older than 50. This means that from the birth to the death, okay, this means that all people around the world, not just younger than 50, okay. So the findings of this research can be used to predict, diagnose, and cure lung cancer both in men and women. This is actually the last section of your discussion. This means that your discussion is based only on your sample uh, at the top at the first few sentences or first few paragraphs and uh, the more you go forward the more generalized your sentences will be okay 
and you go forward and make your sentence or paragraphs more generalized generalized okay then go forward and make it more generalized then this means that uh, you select a sample but then you argue that or then you claim that at the end uh, your findings based on that small sample can be applied to a wider range of people okay this means that you have a narrower sp scope or actually topic or sample or whatever it is at the top and um, make it actually applicable to a larger number of people or a wider scope or topic or whatever it is at the end of your discussion and this is something like bra branding or marketing your research findings uh, actually uh, at the last sentence if you look at, uh, at here so the findings of this research can be used to predict diagnose and cure lung cancer both in men and women this this means that uh, you are advertising your findings you are telling the, the users the practitioners the um, factory owners oh, okay uh, the decision makers for example the hospital managers okay or the drug actually sellers or drug producers that your findings can be used okay uh, if they want to predict, diagnose, or cure lung cancer, both in men and women at any age, then uh, if you actually market your findings here in a, be in a best possible way, then they will co come into contact with you. Then they will call you, okay, and ask you for more data and maybe uh, sign a contract with you and then may give you dollars thousands and thousands of dollars millions of dollars uh, to get your data okay in exchange pay and get your data this means that you should go uh, these steps in a correct way step by step you have to make your findings and actually claims more generalized uh, I mean you have to generalize your findings as you go forward so that uh, your findings can be applicable to a wider range of people uh, as much as possible okay this is the last part of your actually your paper or your thesis or your dissertation this is called uh, actually um, uh, this is called a wine glass model or our glass model this is similar to a wine glass okay and this will help you write the four specific parts in EMROD introduction results sorry in introduction methodology results and discussion